because like you couldn't but that's by then like none of the browser games would work anymore like you could play an mmo in school unfortunately yeah no none of that would work oh this is kind of off topic but a funny story is that um back when we went to uh high school uh i i was in a shop that had computers um and one of the things we weren't allowed to have our phones out but if we had music on the computer we could listen to music so i one day out of the blue just tried to download like the spotify spotify and i was able to download it and for some reason whatever is in the spotify applications coding it can just bypass things because oh yeah no, i did I it on my work computer like my old job's work computer i was able to download it and like i would have to get permission to download things but for some reason spotify you can bypass everything when downloading it it's hilarious <laughs> i used to do that with google earth yeah because google earth had a browser in it for some reason and the browser in google earth wasn't connected to the block, so you could get past everything. Yeah! Oh. Of course, you had to use Google Earth's crappy browser, but still. But still, you could bypass everything. It was funny as hell. Like, why does this work? Hey guys, and welcome back to the Gaming and Collecting Podcast. On this episode, me and Alex are going to be taking a look back at some early internet gaming, particularly old browser games that we used to play back in the early days of the internet. More like the early 2000s for the most part. And a lot of the stuff you'd find on old like educational sites, along with some more, I guess generally what you'd call for kids entertainment. It's going to be interesting because it's really something that was, it kind of was huge at one point, and then it kind of just went away. But like the internet, things are always changing. So anyways, guys, thank you for joining us as we discuss the games that shaped us. So, what you drinking? I'm drinking a truly mango lemonade hard seltzer. They're interesting. They're only 100 calories. I was there when you bought it. Yes, but I don't think I drank any when you were here. No, you you were drinking the Moscow Mules. I was mules. drinking the Moscow Mules, but I have to say, I'm probably not going to get them again. They're a little too sweet, because I thought that they were just going to be like a seltzer, but they're almost like too lemonade-y, so the mango one is pretty good, because it's not as like, bleh, but like there's like a strawberry one, and a watermelon one, and it's just like like, it's just, it's too sugary. <laughs> okay, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Never mind, you won't get it. But, um, <laughs> McKay- I'm drinking, well, in case you guys couldn't tell, we're actually, um, in different states again, so. We're doing this over the internet again. Yes! The but, interwebs. Um, I'm drinking ranch water again. Ew. Because it is good, and it's only 80 calories. I'm gonna make you some custom-made ranch water. I'm not going to touch that because I know what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, my cat just stole my seat. She's on my couch. In my spot. Well, you're not sitting there right now, so. True. And she just knocked my remote on the floor. Good. That's rude. You're rude. I just told well, her she was rude. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> so how have you been? Honestly, short weeks, they kind of suck. Like, they seem really nice in theory, but then you actually live through them, and you're just discombobulated for a full week. And that sucks. So, I hate short weeks. I'm just going to say it. They stick. See, I was, super bus- I was super busy my entire week, so it flew by, but for all the wrong reasons. Aww. Like, I came in, and I had to get everything going, and then I was... It was going up and down, I mean... The only upside is we don't have to wear masks anymore. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's exciting, you know. I, I mean, it, it's nice to be able to, like, just get around the building and not have to, like, put worry it on, about put it, it every off. five minutes. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's kind of yep. how my office has been, because we're all, we're all clear now, so we're all good, so. Well, it's kind of, it's weird, because, like, most places are back to normal, but there's still some that are kind of, like, 
mm. you're not really sure so it's it's yeah, you're kind of like it's hard to judge because like i went to the grocery store on monday and um i walked in and i almost like i, I had to do a double take a couple times because i just saw people without them and i was like what and then i was like oh yeah it's okay now and then i was like this is weird. Just, just, like, just so people, just, just so people are aware, our states have both opened up and are back to a normal. Yes. Uh, more or less so far, but um. Yeah. Not dwelling too much into that because it's, it's hit or miss everywhere at the moment. So. Yeah, it really just depends on the store, the corporation. So, but it was weird. I did do a couple double takes of like, huh, and then I was like, oh yeah, I forgot, and then, but yeah. I kept going, huh, and then you know it was like a, it was it kept repeating. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, other than that, I mean, it it was pretty, pretty okay. Other than that, I I got a lot. Sc- lot once I got everything going at work, it was pretty quick. That's um, good. Unfortunately, a follow up to uh, our last episode, my Xbox is officially dead. Uh, which I'm sucks. Sorry, I hope it wasn't my apartment that killed it. No, I just think it's it's an Xbox, and it hunks of shit sometimes, and they just die <laughs> because I'm not bitter. I'm it's not a, bitter it's at okay. all. It's okay. You can be a little bitter. Well, you know why I'm even more bitter? Because I bought that replacement power supply, and the power supply I bought was dead on arrival. And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Aww. And then I find, and then I find out the one I had is fine. Aww. Because I had, I, I. So now lent you have a, a fr- completely dead Xbox. <laughs> I I lent it to a friend to see if it was actually dead, and he said it worked fine. Oh. So, with his. So. I don't know. So I just ordered a new Xbox. It was a hundred bucks. Well, at least now you have a replacement cord, power supply. Yeah, <laughs> and I have this paperweight. <laughs> yeah, I mean you could use it as a paperweight. You know, maybe. I have multiple paperweights because I have the freaking Xbox. You should use too. it for like lifting. You know, use it for a yeah. good little, little arm stretch. <laughs> but I mean, other, other than that, I mean. um... Yeah, it was. It was. It's been a week. I haven't really watched anything because I've been more just. I've been dealing with that, and then. Oh, I started playing. I started playing Herb Sims in the City again in the DS. <laughs> oh, of course you did. You're addicted. Because well, I every 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 year I, I like once a year I just get the urge to play that game all the way through. Yeah. Because I I've. It, it's a. Uh, so unrelated topic, but we we talked we've talked about it in the past, but. Um, mm-hmm. It's like a, a Sims adventure game. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not like you're just playing, like, popping on to play The Sims. Like, it's a full-out game where you gotta... And it's surpri- It's got a full-on story, and it's surprisingly compelling. But at the same time, it, it's... I've played it so many times, like, it, it's... Uh, like, I know it back... Like, I know all the secrets, I know all the cheats... Well, not cheats, but I know yeah, all the... Yeah, so uh, you can just, like, speed run it. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I know the strats. Yep. <laughs> For what it's worth. But, um, yeah, so I'm playing that again. I'm already, like, done with up to mission three. So. <laughs> nice. But, um, yeah, other than that, though, I've been hanging out. I've, really, I've been just trying to get to the end of the weekend so I can get back to the next week, which will be normal. It, it's been kind of crappy most of the, the last two days. Yeah, it's been, like, rainy and, like, icky out. I went, I did, I got out on a run, though, um, on... Tuesday, I went out. No, Wednesday, I went out running. That's good. Which nice. was nice. Nice. And my leg, I didn't feel like I was gonna die the next day, which is always great. Well, that's good. That's always. You always don't no, want to die. You you got a gift recently. I did. <laughs> I I like came to my apartment and I noticed an Amazon package on my doorstep and I was like, oh, that's weird. Maybe it like blew away from one of my neighbors. And then I look and I'm like, it's addressed to me. And I'm like, did I buy something? So I like had a mini freak out and was just like, what did I buy? So I went on my Amazon and I was like, I didn't buy anything. <laughs> I open it. <laughs> it's, it's one piece Uno cards. <laughs> And I remember talking about it. I showed it to you. So I texted you and I was like, did you buy these for me? And, and turned- I was I was very confused because I was like, no. Uh, I was also confused. Uh, and then it turns out, um, I, I must have like shared like an Amazon wish list with my mom at some point. And it somehow, I, I must have put it in that wish list besides like 
the one I was supposed to put it into, so she saw it, and then she bought it, <laughs> and she sent it to me. Uh, but what's cool about those, is I think they're actually, like, real authentic, like, one piece, like, they're actually licensed by, like, Toei Animation, um, and the back is all in Japanese. So, all, like, the directions and stuff are in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, we, everybody knows how to play Uno. Oh, yeah, no, no. Everyone knows how to play Uno. But, um, actually, technically, no one actually knows how to play Uno because a lot of people weren't playing it correctly after. Well, it's like people who play Monopoly. No one plays Monopoly, right? <laughs> yeah, everyone, like, plays it, but is it correct? No. Oh, you know what's funny that I just noticed? On the what? box, on the box, all the characters are holding Uno cards. Well, yeah, they're playing Uno. Yeah, I just thought they were in the front. I didn't realize that they photoshopped them all to play Uno. I haven't opened it yet. I'm, like, waiting for the day I have a friend over if I have any friends, and I'll just be like, you want to play Uno? <laughs> and, and then they're going to slowly turn see, around and leave. <laughs> see if they'll run away. <laughs> I mean, I something I got recently was I got my, um, I got a, uh, uh, a, a complete sealed copy of Clax on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I saw you posted on Instagram, right? Or you sent my, it I to posted me. my, I sent I sent you the picture, but I posted okay. my Clax collection on on my blog. Yep. Because one of my collecting goals is I want to get every version of Clax. <laughs> because nice. Clax was Clax was the first video game I ever played, so yep. I have really insane nostalgia for that game. I believe you can do it. I believe in you. Well, the tw- it's funny because the 2600 version came in. I didn't know it was going to be sealed, so it's like sealed, like brand new still. Wow! And I'm not, I'm not even going to bother opening. It's probably going to be the one sealed game I'm going to keep o- sealed, just because it's a 2600 game. I'm not going to. If I'm going to play Clax, I'm not going to pull out the 2600 to play Clax. I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hold back the yawn. I wasn't yawning at you. I'm just yawning at life. Okay. Well, anyways, um, well, anyways, transferring into our topic, so, oh, Dell updates, leave me alone. Bill. I apologize. Bill. What? Do you see Matilda? Oh, my finger's pointing. Yeah, it, the people on the podcast can't see the screen, Alex, oh. so this Well, I wish they could, because my cat is adorable. <laughs> Well, anyways, <laughs> getting into our topic for today. Why? <laughs> Forget it. Let's just talk about life. No, just kidding. <laughs> no. So, we're, we're pretty young. I mean, well, I know we're actually kind of old now. Yeah, we're old. We're really old. But <sighs> do you remember the internet back in the early 2000s and late 90s? Yes, it was a dangerous place. So... <laughs> We, as we alluded to in our previous podcast about PC gaming memories, we didn't have internet on our computers until around uh, 2007-ish. Yeah. So I'd was say, that like middle school? <laughs> yeah, we were both in middle school by then. Yeah. So, and it, it was funny because this is before like all computers had like built in like internet, like Wi-Fi antennas and like routers and mm. stuff. So to get internet to our setup, we had these. They basically they looked like USB thumbsticks that you had to plug into the oh, computer. Oh yeah, like the weird silver thing. Yep, yep. Yeah, these like little dongle things, and they yeah. didn't work for shit. No, they constantly like didn't work. Well, they were one of the, they they like needed a perfect like signal to the router. Yeah, and I our rooms were I had about to as far away from the router as they were about as far away from the router as possible, and they were not situated in great places. Like, because I think actually my, where my computer was, it actually interfered with your computer where it was. Yeah, I think that did happen. All I know is I remember I had that thing propped up on like a freaking like clipped up to like the wall because it was like the only place it would actually get a signal, <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't even a good signal. Like I couldn't like. It wasn't fun. It yeah. was a very rough time to have internet access. Yep. The good old days. Yep. But the shit back days. then, back then the internet was a very different place. Like nowadays, oh, yeah. 
nowadays the internet is like condensed into like five different websites that everyone kind of act treats like central hubs. Yes. But back then, the internet was a lot more broad. Like, this and is... YouTube was still very much in its infancy. Like, it was still, I believe, the, the founders still ran it. Mm -hmm. And it was not the freaking imploding juggernaut it is nowadays. With all the pedos. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> These <laughs> on the internet. But um, instead... You had a lot more just random websites out there that people would congregate to. Mm. And this was also the era of the online browser game, which is which is the theme of this episode. Yes. My god, middle school computer labs and oh, high yeah. school to a lesser degree. Or science labs the, where you didn't do science and you just played on the computers. <laughs> uh, for us it was math lab, you know, the most pointless class ever. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh. But, yeah, so there was a ton of these different online just, like, hubs to just play, like, cheap little games. And it was all, f well, some of it was free, but a lot, most of them were free. Yeah. Some we had to pay. Mm. So what was the first one that you remember playing? Um, I don't... See, I don't know, because I don't really remember the exact, like, first one. Uh, well, I remember, like, playing a bunch of games online in school. Like, that's that's the best way I could describe it, like... So, the earliest I can remember you is... Go, yeah. This is back when, like, they still had... The schools still had the old IBM ThinkPad laptops. Those chunky things with the little nipple thing that you would use yeah, the to, as red, the mouse. Yep. And the first, they were all, they had like the, ba they all literally had like half an hour battery lives, I swear. Because <laughs> you'd, every class you'd started to be full charge. Yep. I think it's because they kept them plugged in all the time. So the batteries yeah. were just getting freaking murdered. But it was like, you could see the battery like literally ticking down throughout the class. Also, it was the 2000s, so technology was different. Oh no, these then. things were chunky. These these were chunky laptops. Like, yeah, these were, and that I mean, was the generation. I... Like, they, we didn't oh, have yeah. thin laptops back then. They were that was that was high tech at the time. Oh yeah, and these things are I, IBM ThinkPads are iconic, but yeah, the school had them, and these things were forced beat the shit because kids don't care. Oh yeah, and the first thing we I ever first online website based game I ever played was this incredibly cheap math website called aplusmath.com A plus. and it was like just like these little math quizzes that you would play Ugh. and you it had like high scores it was incredibly basic yeah but they, these laptops were specifically like locked out so you could only do what the teacher wanted i remember yeah and oh my god it was so boring and rudimentary so, I remember playing, like, mathiscool.com, which I bet is kind of the similar basis. I think they tried to be a little more creative. So, keep in mind, when I played that, it was, I was in elementary school, and this okay. was, like, circa 2004, maybe. See, I don't really think I played any online games until, like, middle school. I don't really think I played any in elementary school. Oh, Sorry. Um, elementary school. But I remember math is cool, and it just was a bunch of random math games, but I think they tried to make them, like, interesting, but in the end, you were still doing math, and it now, still sucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now here's a similar thing. For us, when we had Computer Lab, another website that we had shortly after that, this was, I think I was in fourth grade at the time, mm -hmm. so we moved up a little bit. Technology improved. Yep. And the next one we had was there was this, it was a website called Funbrain. Funbrain. Now Funbrain, Funbrain is still around, although it's not quite the same website that it was back then. Mm -hmm. The one we played though was interesting because it had two separate sides. There was the the math arcade, which was so both sides of the of the website were like these board game map things where you played like little mini games. Yep. There was the edu the learning like math side, and then there was the fun side. Yeah. No one went to the math side. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody went to the fun side, 
And there was like these, there was like this like penguin like shooter game that was kind of like you'd shoot like penguins up into like things in the air. It was it was rudimentary. But then there was Mighty Guy, and it was like a side-scrolling like endless runner platformer like reflex thing. Yep. And there was just all these different like arcade style like quote unquote educational games that you would play. And I always remember because they would occasionally do like these like tie-ins with something that was popular at the time. So I remember we had. This was around when, like, Ruby and Sapphire came out. So there was, like, Pokemon-themed ones. Oh, really? You had you had to guess the Pokemon, like, mm. Pokemon trivia questions. I wonder that could never happen today, because I bet you that was not licensed by Pokemon. And I think it was, because oh, there really? was multiple... There was mul- I think Nintendo had a deal, because there was multiple Nintendo-themed ones. Hmm. Because there was also a Mario Party themed like wish list thing we had to do, and then there was this other one for like Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I remember. That's interesting. I, I, to, I, just, I would look that up because that's actually interesting. Because it would be interesting to see if they actually did have partnership. Because I I just feel like that's not something they would do. Like I just don't. I think don't know. They it's it's educational, license. so they they that's something they'd probably go for more than some of the other weird shit out there. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. That's actually interesting. Yeah, I didn't really I'll, I'll, play Fun Brain though. I didn't. It I think so- Fun Brain was a little before your time because yeah. that was. Yeah. Yeah, because Fun Brain changed considerably by, because by the time I got to um, high school, it was completely like not even a thing anymore. Yeah. Well, it's still a thing, but the the one that I remember is gone. No. Womp womp. But other than that, that was probably the last real. Well, no, I guess the only other educational thing I can think of was... Ed Heads? This one, Ed Heads. Ed Heads. Oh, Jesus Christ, Ed Heads. <laughs> I feel like everyone knows Ed Heads. You might not know the name, but you remember You remember doing knee surgery. <laughs> you, everyone I wonder, did it. I wonder if this is like a thing that was all over the world, because it's like so it, random. It was so... Well, because it was weird, because the website, like, uh, thinking back, I think it only had, like like four different topics and i remember one of them was like um like kind of for science because it was about simple machines um it had this orange robot dude i think his name was steve or something and i remember that but then other than that everyone else in the besides that there was the surgery simulators (laughs) so this was like pre-surgeon simulator uh simulator it was like and knee surgery, which I feel like everyone would know, where like you had to replace someone's knee, and then it was a hip surgery, which made Bill vom, and then a brain surgery. I don't remember so, the brain surgery, but I remember I did the, the hip brain and surgery. knee. I did the brain surgery because I couldn't do the hip surgery because it literally made me sick. I did the knee surgery. I think about twenty times. I think I did so many times because you were limited to what it, you could play. <laughs> it was re- it, well, what was weird is how realistic it was. Oh yeah. Like, it was very accurate. Like, you were, like, it was very, like, you had to stitch accurate for people like, up. Accurate for, like, circa whenever, but. Circa 2000s? It was very accurate. It and was it, late, later 2000s, but. Like, I really want to hear if other people played this game. Because, like, I don't know if it was just our school, if it was just our town. But I remember distinctively that game and distinctively the knee surgery. So everyone, I remember the knee surgery because. It was like the one thing I could pretend I was, rather than studying, I could just pretend I was doing studying in class. Mm. Yep. Ed but um, other than that, that was about the end of like educational stuff. Because by then, after that, that's kind of when we started discovering other games. Particularly, there was a lot of Disney in particular had a lot of uh, quote unquote MMOs that you could play back in the day. <laughs> yes, like Toon Town. Do you remember Toontown. all the commercials? They would I rem- constant- Okay, here's the thing. I, ne- I never played Toontown. Me but either, remember- but I remember so much of it because they played the commercials nonstop. They did, and I well, I had friends who played Toontown too, and it, mm. it looked interesting enough, but at the same time, it was like we were I don't playing RuneScape. Pay- <laughs> I was. Yeah. <laughs> but among other games, but um. Yeah, it, the problem is it was like you had to pay to play and it was like I don't want to pay to play something that doesn't look that amazing compared to other things yeah when there was free stuff you could play I don't even yeah. know if it had a free mode now that I think about it I don't think um, it did cause the I think other, you I, had to pay to play because I think that's why they advertised it so heavily maybe 
But it's, here's the thing. Another Nickelodeon MMO that I played, I actually did play, was uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Online. I did not play that, but so I, I believe played in a, you. This was around, like, right after the third movie came out. Mm. Before the fourth. And it was kind of like an action RPG where you, like, leveled up and you had, like, ship battles. And I remember because it was free to play, but it was, like, ext- one of those you could only get so far and it was extremely limited free to play. Ah, uh, those And suck. I remember just playing that for, like, the longest time. I don't even think it exists anymore. Like, it's probably closed down at this point. But I oh, remember yeah. it being kind of like an alternate storyline that you, you kind of followed and you'd run into, like, the characters. They all had very not-close voice actors. Yep. And I, I remember it being fun, but at the same time, it was one of those games that you needed to have, like, friends to play, and I, like, had no friends that cared. Yeah. Aw. So that kind of sucks. Like, stinks. the only... The, the, I had former associates that played it, but they... I had one... One was, like, a tryhard and got so far ahead that it, you couldn't even... I couldn't even keep up with them, and the other ones just didn't care enough to get anywhere in it. So. Yeah. And then the other... The other big Disney... MMO type game that most people obviously I did bet remember Disney didn't create it but they eventually owned Acquired it was, it. Uh, yeah. was uh, Club Penguin Club Penguin I remember Club Penguin Pedal Penguins <laughs> Club Penguin was interesting I didn't play that one very long I think I did I a didn't one, either I think I I did, t- a, I did a one time subscription like a limited subscription I, I played around with it but I, no one else would play it because this was the 2000s, and that's a kitty game. You can't play it out if you want to be cool. <laughs> meh, meh, meh. Yep. Nowadays, I don't care, but I mean, it was like back then you kind of were like, you didn't tell anybody, so no mm. one was playing with you. Yeah. And it, 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 all I remember about Club Penguin was it, it was very lonely when you had no friends. Oh. Yeah, I don't and, think I played it much either, because I think I, I also ran into the same problems of not having any friends to play with, so it was just kind of like... All I remember Ooh. is Disney bought it, and then they, they like, advertised it everywhere. They made all these different spin-offs. Yes. And then they just shut it down. Mm. And they relaunched it as this new thing, and nobody cared. Yep. And then they shut that down. down. And then there was... There was some unofficial private servers going around, and there was some sketchy shit with those we're not going to get into. But <laughs> y- Yeah, we don't need to keep bringing it up. It's everywhere. It's but creepy. Yeah. I, know, yeah. I know Disney also had a couple of, like, mini-games, too, though, but those are, like, the main ones. Like, I know there's, so like, a Kim Possible I didn't mini-game. Sp- yeah, I didn't spend much time on Disney website. I... <laughs> I don't really remember a lot, but I remember two distinctively, and one was, like, a Kim Possible game, and I know you, like, you were, like, Rufus, and I think you made tacos? I think that was one? And then, I know for certain there was one that was Lilo Stitch, uh, and you played as the little, the, the monster that really liked sandwiches, um. Did he even have a name? I think his name was, like... Wasn't his name like Fred or something? Didn't they give him? Well, no, because wasn't remember. that the the concept of the show that the spinoff show was that um, she hunted down all the numbers and then she would like name them and give them a job, and I think his name was like ended up being like Chuck, because I think no. it was like no, it had something to do with Reuben. It was Reuben because she named him after a sandwich. I'm pretty certain it was Reuben. <laughs> Um, I have Disney Plus. I should really just watch to confirm <laughs> this later. <laughs> but but he likes sandwiches, so it's just a game where like he ran around and you would just stack the sa- and you try and get a really tall sandwich. So and that's I don't all remember I really playing remember. this, but I I don't remember playing that, but I have like a vague memory of it for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. Maybe but, watch I mean, me play that, it at the- some point. Maybe. Other than that, there was the Nickelodeon also had like their own website, and they had a for a, a while they had games. Yeah. The problem is, I can't remember a single game I played on that. I other can't than either. this Other than this weird side-scrolling Fairly Odd Parents game that was based off the um, the TV, the, the one where he went into the TV. No, no, not the TV. The one where he went into the internet. Ah. And the vir- the the Crocker virus. 
Oh. And it was it was based off of that, and it was this was like early early, early failure yeah. experience, and it was really annoying to play and crappy, and it sucked. Yeah. Most I, most of the games yeah. on Nick.com kind of sucked, from what I remember. Maybe that's why I don't remember any of them, because like I, no, this I, was I like, couldn't remember. I couldn't even remember the site when we like were looking. So looking for this it. is before we had remember. internet, so I had to play this on the family internet, computer that had internet. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it was. Yeah, it wasn't the best. Mm. And other than that, then we kind of got into more of the general kind of game hosting sites from back in the day. Yeah. Like, you remember Addicting Games. Yes. I remember addic- I I'm pretty certain that like you could play the Scary Maze game on that. I don't know if it was exactly... Oh, uh, the Scary Maze game. But... You know that oh. got... You know that got banned from, uh... My my school because the class like tricked the teacher into playing it. Oh really? That's yeah. hilarious. That's so funny. Like why when we was were it... all up on the up on the the big screen like the big screen like projector screen. They, they it was like a gullible sub. Oh, and, that's just and the, too good. The class convinced her to like play it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, we were dying, and we all our, our class got shit on the next day let's just say oh but that was that must have been worth it though because that that's just so what was worth funny. it what was worth it was the kid that fell asleep in the back of the class that got woken up by that oh my god that's hilarious yeah the, the maze game it was it was a that's like a relic of like early internet right there <laughs> oh yeah uh, and I think another game on there was, like, The Impossible Quiz was on there, and it's many successor. I think there's like, three other ones. It was, like, The Impossible Quiz, and then it was, like, Impossible Quiz 2 and 3. And I remember playing that a lot, because you had to just remember the answers to everything, and there was mm. just so many questions, but... I, I remember that one, and then I remember... Uh, do you remember Cube Runner? Oh, yeah! I remember oh, Well, actually, that no, on the computer it was called Cube Field. Okay, yes, I remember it, that. It was like it's it was still like on the three D world. It was like three D cubes. Yeah, so you right? had to like get around like, the cubes and yes. like left and right, and oh. it would get faster as you went. It's on. It's back. It's on the uh, Apple Store still. If you really want to play it. Ever. Oh my god, I gotta find that for the nostalgia. But I do remember that. I remember playing that so. That much. That was like one of the best like waste of time games. Oh yeah, and everyone. And the thing is, is like if if you were in a computer lab, like a science lab that only had like four computers, everyone could take turns playing. Like it wasn't like one person was like you had to log in. Like you could all just like boop 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 and switch around. That see, was fun. My, that was fun. See, your class was nicer than mine, I guess, because my my class we just had the the assholes that hog the computer. And oh like, well, we had one. those people too, but um, luckily, like. At least, luckily in mine, there was always at least one person that swapped around the computer with someone else. So, yeah, but there I was those lucky. people. Aww. You understand why I don't have fond memories of school. Eh, most of mine aren't that great either. So, Fair. that's okay. That's why but, I'm a um, huge weeb now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you mean now? <laughs> Alright, yeah. All right, that's why I accept that I'm a huge... <laughs> we're, we're all weebs. Yes. Everybody. I'm convinced everybody back then was a weeb. I, I think so, too. It was so accessible. You could watch it so easily, and they had millions of views. <laughs> I know. Oh. Alright, well, um, anyways, guys, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Woo! Ah. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> I don't know. I was just. I don't, I don't know. What happened? I don't know. I was gonna try and do a funny voice, and it, well, I was trying to do my famous voice, but then I changed my mind that I didn't want to do it on the podcast. Well, I would have. I would have scrapped. I would have immediately scrapped the recording, and we start would have started over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's a good thing I, I stopped myself from doing it. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we're back. We're back. <laughs> She's already a train wreck. I mean, would you have me any other way? Don't answer oh, that. Boy. So, do you remember online chat rooms? <laughs> online chat roomy games? Yes, I do remember. We World! <laughs> You remember Wii World. I, 
I looked up We World, <laughs> and I don't. I, I'm never gonna unsee We World. <laughs> well, I didn't remember what it was. It, it took me a little bit to find again the name. Like I had to like scroll through, and then I found a picture of it. And I was like, oh, I remember that. But I remember everyone in my like middle school years for like a year. I think it was like seventh grade. We all played We World. It was like one of those online chat, like the IMVU game that you see ads for all the time. Like, not Is that even still a thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's still a thing, but I remember seeing like like sidebar ads on the on websites. I would see that all the time. But I yep. remember playing Wii World, which was these little characters that kind of look like South Park characters, but also kind of don't. They look and like off-brand South Park, and they it's do. really unsettling. Oh, off-brand South Park with Justin Bieber hair, as you described it. Um, and it was just like one of those games where you chatted with people and you like designed a little house and like I think that was it like you just designed a house and you like picked out outfits and you talked to people but I remember like I distinctively remember that from 7th grade and it was called We World We so, World in my class because I'm a year older than Alex and uh, my grade we played this game called Mies, like M E E Z. I would say and that's was, closer to like the IMVU game because yours yeah. was like three D models, but they still look just as horrifying <laughs> were, as the were, new world. They were quote unquote three D. They were more pre rendered than anything, mm. but um, yeah. Basically, it was it, you didn't even have it wasn't even super in depth. You basically you made a your options were very limited when you played for free, which everyone did because no one was gonna pay money for that shit. Oh yeah, same with We World. <laughs> But, um, so you could make a very basic character design, and then basically you could, you didn't even get, like, a, any houses to, like, visit. You basically just, you, you had these, like, select des it was kind of like Club Penguin in a sense, where you had these, like, mm. select destinations you could visit, and you just kind of chat with people. Yeah. And me being the socially awkward guy I was would just write video game quotes or anime quotes. Oh my god. The entire time while doing You emotes. were that guy? Oh god. Well, I was only there because everyone else was doing it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. No, we both had those. Because I, I don't think I would have played Wii World if it wasn't that everyone else was playing Wii World. No, I wouldn't have played Miis, that's for sure. But I, I remember I'd just be, like, trolling in one place with, like... And I actually, I I ended up, like, getting, like, four other people to join in. So we're all over there reciting Dragon Ball quotes the entire time. Oh, that's funny. Because that was the only anime everybody knew. Mm. Yeah, what a different Out time. Out loud, anyways. <laughs> Out loud, anyways. Who knows what else yeah. I knew about. Um. Okay. So then, besides the next game you wanted to talk about was a game I didn't play, okay. but you so played this wasn't it. So this isn't an actual game. This is just something that well, people do Well, no, it's a for... game, but it's not like it's like an actual game where you click buttons and things. Like, it's a, it's a game that I'm, was made up by I'm not people. Even, I'm was... not even sure this is something that people do anywhere else. This is just something we did in school. Maybe other people do it. We called it the Wikipedia game, and basically what we did was... You'd hit random search on uh, Wikipedia, and then the goal was whoever could find Hitler first won. Yep. No. It, it, it was pretty interesting, <laughs> even though the, the strat was all you had to do was find Germany, and then you'd basically be there. <laughs> <laughs> but it, the best is when you hit random and you got him. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I win. You're like, I win. Zero that, turn. That's funny. See, this is what, this is what people do in, like computer lab when you literally had nothing else to do. do. That was your... Well, it's funny because, like, people actually will do that now, but they'll do that with, like, YouTube, and they'll be like, alright, your goal is to get, like, to, like, a cat video or, like, a prank video, and you're gonna start with just a video you click on, like, the front page, and you have to just find your way. I think it used to work better in the, like, old versions of YouTube. Uh, yeah, before it was all, like, super quote-unquote professional. <laughs> yeah. Like, back when it would just have, like, it would have things that were actually related to the video that you clicked on. So, it worked better then, but, uh, it wouldn't really work now. <laughs> but I remember people doing that. Yeah, I remember the the reason why we played the Wikipedia game was because, like, this was something that was pretty big, like, in, like, high school. Particularly, like, by, like, junior and senior year. And the reason why we played it was because by then, the, the school, like, the school, um... 
It got stricter on the internet codes. Basically, the search, the 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 search got. The schools had like filters on, so you couldn't visit like a ton of sites. There was a ton of blocks. Yep. So really, all you could do was basically, <laughs> you could mess around on Wikipedia. Yep. And it's amazing how much like inappropriate stuff you can find on Wikipedia if you look hard enough, especially back in the day. <laughs> oh yeah. But um, besides the point. That was basically, like, entertainment for, like, back in the day. Because, yeah. like, you couldn't... That's By then, like, none of the browser games would work anymore. Like, you couldn't play an MMO in school, unfortunately. Yeah. No, none of that would work. Oh, this is kind of off-topic, but a funny story is that um, back when we went to uh, high school, uh, I, I was in a shop that had computers. Um, and one yes. of the things... We weren't allowed to have our phones out, but if we had music on the computer, we could listen to music. So, I, one day out of the blue, just tried to download, like, the Spotify, Spotify, and I was able to download it. And for some reason, whatever is in the Spotify application's coding, it can just bypass things. Cause oh, yeah. No, I did I it on to... my work computer, like, my old job's work computer. I was able to download it. And, like, I would have to get permission to download things. But for some reason, Spotify, you can bypass everything when downloading it. It's hilarious. <laughs> I used to do that with Google Earth. Yeah. Because Google Earth had a browser in it for some reason. And the browser in Google Earth wasn't connected to the block, so you could get past everything. Yeah! Oh. Of course, you had to use Google Earth's crappy browser, but still. But still, you could bypass everything. It was funny as hell. Like, why does this work? I don't know, but funny story. <laughs> just, well, that I don't reminds know why. Me of like, that reminds me of, like, our, our shop computers. They were... The way they worked, I was able to... Pre I was able to put emulators on them and have, like, game... Like, uh, Genesis and like Super Nintendo and N64 <laughs> emulators running on the school computers because oh I could my easily because I had them on a thumbstick. Oh, so you could I just play. I remember people did it with Minecraft. Like they would download it onto a thumb drive, and we were all playing Minecraft on our computers so, at one point. I I tried to get Minecraft working, and I couldn't get that one working. But I I got I got Project 64. Um, that was the Sonic. Uh, Z S N E S and. Um, Kega Fusion going on there, so we had, I could do Sega Genesis, N64, and Super Nintendo, and we we had all those games going there. So I used to just play like um, F Zero G, uh, F Zero X, or like um, nothing like 3D because playing 3D games with a uh, k keyboard sucked. But um, yeah, I played a lot of like JRPGs. Like I played a uh, Final Fantasy VI oh, during the uh, break. <laughs> during our breaks at uh, during a shop. Did anyone ever see you doing this? It was just like Bill. What yeah. the hell? <laughs> the teacher, the te one of the teachers, walked over and he just kind of was like, "Wow, the games on these computers sure are advanced." <laughs> and he just kept walking. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Okay." <laughs> In all reality, like I think the only game you could play on the computer was like Solitaire. <laughs> Minesweeper. Minesweeper and Solitaire. Then they, yeah, but then they upgraded the computers and it wouldn't work anymore. Aw. Well, anyways, getting back on to topic, another game that um, you didn't play, but I played. It wasn't really a game, it was more just like a website. Well, I guess it was a game. It was called Stardoll. I, I don't know about... I know you didn't play, but you I remember you said that you remembered it when we were talking about it. And basically, like... You had a character, and, like, all you did in the game was, like, you dressed up these doll, like, you dressed up these little characters, and they were just, like, actors and actresses that you could dress up. So, like, you could dress up Kim Kardashian, or Britney Ugh. Spears, or Lady Gaga. <laughs> so you could just dress See, people up. The only reason and, I remember this is because I walked into your room once to, like, ask you a question, you were just playing that, and I was like, what the hell is that? And, <laughs> and you were just like, it's Star Dolls, well. and I'm like... Okay. I don't even um, remember if there were any games. There might have been games, but I think the whole point was, like, you you dress people up and you, like, earned, like, coins or something so you could buy, like, outfits and stuff. Um, and then you dressed your character up and you, like, did get to their makeup and hair and... Yeah. Oh, star doll. But so, I just, I remember spending hours playing that. What's hours. funny is, though... That reminds me of new back on Newgrounds back in the day. There was a dress-up game for
for everything. Oh, yeah. Like, dress up Sonic. Dress up Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Dress up <laughs> like, Mario. Yeah, yep. Dress up Yoshi. Princess, Princess Peach. Any any character. There was like a Newgrounds dress up game for some reason. I, that was very trendy at one point. Dress up and games it was just, were It was popular. just like drag and drop. You just drag and drop. Yeah, no, the, that's all, all you did assets. on Star Doll. You just dragged and dropped and you picked out picked outfits out well i i feel like probably sonic had a limited amount of outfits but um, no no it was like full on like oh really put okay. him in a, you can put him in a suit make him smoke a cigarette <laughs> oh you know. wow Be, well, just <laughs> the, the internet's a wild place did sometimes. they have a sonic fan character maker <laughs> you could make your sonic go see i'm pretty sure <laughs> uh, alex alex that exists it's called sonic forces Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sega actually made one, I, I always, and it's actually really fun. Yeah, I it's always, actually the funnest part. It's the funnest part about that game, believe it or not. But <laughs> oh, let, wah, let's save wah. that for when we do an eventual Sonic podcast. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So you you played a lot of Star Dolls because you were very easily amused back in the day. Yes, yes, I was. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'm thinking about playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> after this it was really <laughs> fun <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even exist anymore i don't know but i hope it does because <laughs> most of these things we've talked about no longer exist i think ed still exist i have no idea i'm gonna try and see i know i know we world and me's are both shut down so. yes we world and me's are both shut down but i believe in ed heads i believe <laughs> Uh, so anyways, after that, we wanted to talk about Quop. Yes, because I remember Quop quite a bit. <gasps> oh, God. oh my god. Did you just look it up and see if it exists? I think Ed Heads still exists. I'm sure Ed Heads does, but... Games. Free games. Okay, look at this later, please. <laughs> no. Oh my god, <laughs> Bill, you want to do hip surgery? No. It's still there. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right, everyone, Ed Heads is still a thing, just so uh. you know. But anyways, moving on to Quop. <laughs> so, Quop is, for anyone who doesn't know, Quop is like, this was like the game that everyone played on the browser because it was another thing that schools didn't block for some mm. reason. And Quop is like the most trollish game ever made yes so basically you hit you're an olympic runner and his both his feet and knees are both controlled by q w o and p yes. as in quap and the, you have to like get them to work to run but if you mess up he'll fall over and basically On his, die like, face. And yeah and you're ready to restart and the only way I ever saw anyone play it is they'd like shimmy on his knees. Yes, like very <laughs> that was slowly. the strategy. But the problem is there's a there's a a, a little like a jump in the middle that you have to get over. <laughs> so they'd have to like shimmy to the jump and then they'd have to get over the jump. And they'd have shimmy. to like lift the leg and then like lift the other leg somehow, and it, it would be. It was. It, it reminds me of Octo Dad and. Yeah, it was the Oct predecessor to Octo Dad. Probably. It's very similar, and they I know the creator, of, the creator of Quop later went on to make um, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. So. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. It makes a lot of sense in hindsight. Yes. Quop. And after Quop, I mean, Quop was basically that distraction that everyone played in school. Yeah, I think it was around for like a year, and then everyone kind of forgot about it. But I still remember. I still remember Quop. Every, everyone still... remembers Quop. Yes. But after that, now we're going to get into the, the, so, before, to pets. so before Toys to Life was a thing, there was virtual pets that you would buy and then you could interact with online games. Yes. And the first one I remember was Neopets, if anyone remembers Neopets. So I think... I don't think Neopets, in the beginning, I don't think you could buy, like, a toy and then, like, 
upload online at the very beginning. I think that was like maybe a later feature when like webcams came around. So but Neopets, be- most of my memories of Neopets comes from. There was a game on the PlayStation Portable called Neopets Pet Pet Adventures, and it was like an action. It RPG. was like an RPG, but it didn't have any RPG elements. So it was more of just huh. like an action, action adventure game. Yep. But it was like it, it was surprisingly solid, like top down hmm. game, and you'd kind of just like hack and slash elements and stuff. And I remember playing a good amount of that. Yeah. And I was was curious if the actual Neopets game was anything like that, which I doubt it was. No, no, it was it was very. I would say it's more similar to like Club Penguin. Where, okay. like, you could explore a town, and... But you, like... Also, there was, like, a level-upping aspect. I didn't really play it super much. I think I dabbled a little bit. But I really remember the... There was a time where, like, uh, Neopets were, like, the McDonald's toys. And yeah. I remember everyone wanted the Neopets toys. Yes. But I also remember learning that, like, the Neopets... Uh, the owners, the original creators of Neopets made a lot of very bad business decisions... Which As led most to, of these companies do. <laughs> which led to the website eventually, like, going... I believe they sold their company, and then that company, like... They, like... I think they sold, like, the majority of their shares to that company, or they sold it completely, and then the company ended up just, like, running it into the ground. Um, yeah. And no one even really talks about Neopets anymore. No. I don't know if the website is still up anymore, but... I, 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 I'm not really sure, but... I remember the seeing a we... video... Yeah. Now, the reason why we brought up Neopets is because Neopets had a very similar competitor. Yes. I guess you could say. And these things took over the world for about a couple years. A couple years, yeah. Webkins. Webkins. <laughs> Webkins. Oh, Webkins. One thing I, I majorly remember about Webkins is that. Uh, in order for us to go to the doctor and the dentist without complaint, mom would buy us a webkins to make us shut up and just accept yeah. that we went to the doctor. I just I remember like that's how we got a bunch of our webkins so that we would go to the doctor without complaint. <laughs> but I mean it worked because so, we loved our webkins. I had way more. Yeah, though. Y- you liked them more than I did. Yeah, it was enjoyable for the time. So, Webkins was basically, it was a, a line of toys by a company named Gans, I think. Yeah, Gans. And every toy came with a code, and you'd, you'd input that code onto the website, and it was basically a Club Penguin-style MMO. Mm-hmm. And you'd get a, a room, and you could go and fill that room with furniture by playing yes. mini-games to get other furniture. Yeah. And, and money. Money, yeah, because money was very important. And it had, like, a world of different characters, like the doc, the creepy doctor. The creepy doc, Dr. Quack. He was a Dr. duck. Dr. Quack. You'd, like, send him there and your pet. Yeah, because it was kind of sad. Like, your pets could actually get sick. Really sick, yeah. Yeah, and you'd have to bring them to the... They couldn't die, though. No. We'll, Even we'll though people later. thought we'll they that. could. We'll, no, no, we'll get to that later. We'll yes. get to that later. We'll finish with that, because that, that's great. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, you could I, I'll, see. I, what I remember about Doctor Quack was he'd always have the same like speech, and he'd always be like, "You'd hear like this weird like noise like in the pet making sound." He'd be like, "Oops, wrong stethoscope," <laughs> and I'd be like, "What did he do?" <laughs> and uh, it was always just he'd always like he had like this weird voice too. It was like a weird accent. <laughs> accent. It was like, "Who? Uh, yeah, it was like da-da. super like, like it was like. Just- Super exaggerated for no reason. Yeah. And uh, see, I remember mostly every time you got a pet for like the first, like, I think it was like four or five pets, you'd get a new room with, like, a free room with the pet. Yes. And then eventually you just stopped getting free rooms. And I was, at that point, you were kind of like, why am I bothering to get more animals now? Yeah. But I think you got, um, with every pet, you also got like a present. And in that present was like a specialty item and like, Mm. A bunch of, like, special things, and, uh... I remember there was, like, full-on sets to complete, like, rooms, too. Yes. Um, and I remember, like, that was a big aspect of people wanting to, like, collect all the sets. Because I think I made a couple rooms where I collected, like, all the furniture sets and items. Um, yeah. But then, now, like, I remember... A... Oh, you go. I remember that in particular, and I particularly remember the arcade. Yes. Because the arcade was... 
So many ripoffs. Oh, yeah. It was mostly, a lot of the games were just, like, webkinized ripoffs of popular games. Like, I'm pretty certain there was, well, there was one, you were talking about that that game where it's, like, the paddle okay, so, and you have to bounce the bubbles. So there's one that's literally a ripoff of Bust, of bust a Move slash uh, Puzzle Bobble. Yep. That was also the one I played the most of because I was really good at it. You get the most money from it. Yep. There was also a slot machine, because every video game like this has gambling. Yeah. Well, it was the Wheel of Wow. Well, no, there was also a slot machine. Oh, there was, huh? There was, there was just a straight-up slot machine. Yes. Because there's always a slot machine. Oh, yeah. Because gambling's okay when it's kids. I do remember, though, there was, like, the Wheel of Wow. And it was either, like, you'd get money or, like, a special object on what it spun. And you could spin it every day. And that was, like, a big thing. You always spun the wheel of wow. Yeah, that was the, you'd rush home from school. I gotta hit the wheel of wow. I gotta get the wheel of wow. Um, and then another game that I remember, I think a lot of people remember, was, like, Zacky's Quest. Which was basically this, like, you played as this little monster guy. And there was this other monster guy. And he basically hit you with a giant, like, club. And, you like, you'd have to angle your shot to make it. It was basically one of those games where it's, like, you go the farthest distance. So... Yeah, but I remember playing that a lot. Um, I remember that. I remember the. I remember the houses because they get the houses got so big, and you'd have so many pets after a while. You'd get like lost, and they all had their own unique names. <laughs> I had so many pets that I would just like lose track of them. Yeah, it was the thing you'd lose them all. I like, just like wouldn't remember any of them. Um, I always forgot what their names were. <laughs> yeah, because you because you can name them too. You had to name each one. Uh, cause every time you did, you had to go on and you had to go to, like, Miss Birdie. I think she was, like, a penguin. Miss Birdie. Yeah. And, uh, um, <laughs> you got to pick, like, their gender, and then I think you got to, like, pick their name, and then she gave you, like, a birth certificate. Uh, but you had to do that process every time you got a new pet, so. We saw Miss Birdie a lot, cause we had so many Neopets. I mean, not Neopets, uh, Webkins. Whoops. You Whoop. get so tired of that damn introduction thing, though. Oh, yeah. Well, especially a lot of people just bought a ton of them because people wanted, like, certain ones. And I think people, like, traded them in school, too. I remember people bringing them in and trading them for stuff. But how would you trade them, though? Because you had You'd trade the stuffed animals. That's the thing. You would trade the actual... So you'd you'd trade the stuffed animal and leave the pet behind forever. Yeah. That doesn't sound smart. (laughs) Well, no. Like, people wanted the stuffed animal version. They didn't care about the online version because... They wanted the stuffed animal. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I remember I a, people doing that. I, 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 was, I was a boy, so you didn't talk about webkins when you were a boy. <laughs> I remember so. another thing in it, too, was they had, like, a mine where you, like, mine gemstones. Do you remember that? It was, like, a mine that um, was this guy with a big vaguely. beard. There, there was a mine, and you mined gemstones. I think you could sell them for money, or, like, you mined them and, like, you got money for doing it. I also remember there was tournaments. There's like the you could I just remember this now, but like you could actually there was like a tournament area, so you could like versus people in games. So I think I, there was like a, I I remember playing tic tac toe a lot because <laughs> that was a game. Um, I but you could playing verse... like this. I remember playing this rip off of Minesweeper. Yeah, but they, I think it was like Skunk Sweeper or something. Oh, that sounds about right. But they had, like, a lot... I, I do remember there was, like, a um, arena area where you could, like, versus people and play online. Yeah. I think you got, like, money if you, like, won. Um, so I remember doing that a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was... It was fun for, like, a couple e- for a couple of years. I remember it, it was... This was the early 2000s, so it was a very different time. Oh, yeah. Well, this was more late 2000s, but gender stereotypes were a thing, and... Being a boy playing this wasn't exactly the most common thing back then, so I kind of oh, I didn't yeah. have a lot. I didn't have any friends who played, even though yeah. I gar- I have a feeling most of them probably had them. Oh yeah, I definitely think a lot. I I know a ton of guys had them, but they never really talked about it. That's um, the thing because it was, God, the early school was annoying like that. Yeah, there was chat rooms on Webkins, but I believe like you couldn't actually type; you could only select select from a certain like yeah it was options. i think they might have added typing later on i know it was very like safe yeah 
But it, it makes sense because it, it was a game for kids. So um. I remember because I inv- had a few people like randos like come visit my house because that was a thing, and yeah. it was very weird because you couldn't really talk, so they mm. just kind of wandered around your house and then just. And left. you just follow like... them around from room to room, and like you just yeah, like, you'd spam was... like hi hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hoping they would just It was really it was really kind of awkward and uncomfortable now that I think about it. Yeah. It was a time. It now, was a time. Now, do you want to talk about the most infamous thing in Webkins? Oh yeah, you go. You first. Okay. So, I think a lot of people who played Webkins know about this. Yes. There was a lo- an ongoing rumor for the longest time about a killer in Webkins <laughs> that yeah. was a computer virus in the game that was programmed in that would kill your <laughs> murder your Webkins. <laughs> and it had multiple different like explanations for it. And this thing spread. Like everybody was oh, talking yeah. about it. Oh yeah. It got to like, the point where Webkins itself had to like release a statement being like yeah, the, this I, is I not real. <laughs> well here's what was funny though. There was multiple different versions. Like, I know one version had to do with a uh, a black box that would appear in your room, and then a skunk yes. would pop out and s- stab your webkin. Yeah. The one that we had going around was... Wasn't it Dr. Quack? A... It was... No, no, that, that was another one. The, okay. what, there was a... The one that we had around our school was... there was It was a thing about a gorilla would pop out of the toilet... Oh, and yeah. kill your webkins. <laughs> and so you had to delete your toilets from the house. Yep. But what was hilarious was the image that they used for the the like the little like PSA like statement about the thing that was a gorilla on the phone. Wait. And it scared the shit out of me. You were like, it's real. I was like I was like, "Oh my god." I'm but like... yeah, so that was that was a thing. But then um Another one was the theory that Dr. Quack, if you clicked, like, if you clicked on the clock, he would, like, deliberately make your webkins sick or would, like, kill yeah. them. It was, like, really weird. It was Like, people so... had the wild... People, that's the thing, the internet. Every, the internet, even, like, something as innocent as webkins has to have, like, some weird dark shit. Like around it, and I think like the rumor too was like so it was like an ex employee of the company set this up and like there was two rumors there was the ex employee and then there was a Neopets employee that infiltrated a Neopets site. site? (laughs) Yeah, there was a Neopets. (laughs) There was like a rumor that Neo a Neopets employee hacked the site. That's hilarious! Oh my god, I just I remember that being like such like (laughs) it's weird to say, but it was such an iconic moment for my childhood. The well, Webkin's yeah, because killer. everyone was freaking out because everyone thought it was real. Well, like, and I everyone... think it, it got even, like, news coverage. Like, I think they even talked about it on the news because it freaked I... so many kids out. I don't remember. I just remember the... I, I remember we got a... There was a meeting in school where, like, they told us about it. Yeah. Webkin's. Yeah, I'll never forget the, 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 school, the school newsletter that was like, Webkin's can't kill each Me other. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh, real. You are okay. Yeah. That's I hilarious. That, yeah. that was bizarre. That that was. But yeah, I think after like two years, though, I pretty much dropped it. You I kept think going I, I think I kept longer. for a, another year, and then eventually I dropped it too. I think. Yeah. I think I honestly I played it all through middle school, and then once I got to high school, I dropped it for sure. See, my thing was. I played a lot of these games, hmm. but in the background, I had my game. Yes. Which Your game. We've alluded to it in the past. I played RuneScape. Yes. I also played RuneScape, but not as you much played, as you. You played RuneScape to a degree, but you weren't in it as deep as I was. And no, still I was this, not. <laughs> and still am to this day. Yes. Because RuneScape is a curse, and you will never escape it. Nope, you'll but, never, you'll never leave. <laughs> but I'm going to stop here, because RuneScape is a topic for another time. Yeah! So, to be continued. <laughs> not not next week. We literally... Roundabout. <laughs> Start playing Runes- Roundabout to be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ready for a RuneScape podcast yet, basically. So That's why I said there. to be continued. We'll, someday. We'll get there eventually. Yep. Not now, though. Yes. Because I have a lot to say. Yes. 
Oh, boy. But yeah, that was an interesting blast of the past. It was. It was a good time. It was funny, like, looking up and remembering these games, because... I haven't thought of Ed Heads in the longest time. <laughs> I haven't thought of Wii World in the longest time. <laughs> See, I remember... Me, Mies pops into my head every now and then, because I'm like, wow, that was lame. Wii World did but... not pop in my head <laughs> until today. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, that's so. The internet was wild. Now it and now everything's condensed into like one, like four websites, and like no one does anything anymore. Yeah, no, it was a time. I'm grateful for it. I'm also not for all the times I fell for the scary maze game. But you know, it was a good time. It was pretty fun. I feel like we don't have those games anymore. Like, I feel like everything No, is... well, see, everything... There really isn't browser games anymore, because everything's no. just been condensed into, like, Steam or Origin now. Yeah. Or whatever the other, or whatever the other game sites yeah. are. And it's also, You're... like, the games are, like, actually good, too. Like, well, like they're, they're actually, real, like, real, they're real games. games. <laughs> yeah. They're, like, these goony little... I miss the days of goony little games. It was a time, and... Well, I mean, addicting games still exists. It's it still It does, there. but I don't trust it one minute. I feel like I'll get a virus if I'll go on that website. So no, thank you. I mean, to be fair, I mean now we have the i the iPhone store, the Apple store. True. Um, the hell the Switch store these days it seems like one of those old websites. Yep. No. Yeah. Oh, we could do a whole podcast on that itself. The uh, not the Switch store because we kind of already did that, but um. <laughs> we 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 did a thing. Yes. I'm not super happy with it, but oh well. Oh, are you really? Eh, it's fine for what it is. I feel like we could have done better. You know what? It, my problem was I, I was super. I was salty about the Xbox. You were salty about the Xbox, yeah. I'm still salty about the Xbox. Still salty. But... It's okay. There was a guest appearance of Tillamaker, so it yeah. makes up for it. <laughs> Unless you cut it out, you better not cut it out. <laughs> there's not enough. There's not enough in that episode to cut out. Okay. <laughs> Keep in mind, people. This this will this one will be posted after that one's already out. So yes. hopefully that you'll know what we're talking about. And this one, we definitely hit the hour mark. So oh yeah, Woo! no, we definitely we had more to talk about this time. Yes. We also didn't throw this one together in like five minutes. Also, watch our th- uh, uh, bleh, listen to our three D O one because that one was good. That one was cool. Yep. Yep. Well, anyways, guys. Um, the Gaming and Collecting Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, and is um, an anchor podcast. And, um, yeah, thank you for joining us once again, guys, as we discuss the games that shaped us. Thanks! See you later. <laughs> Bye! <See you. laughs> I keep interrupting you. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. All right. Well, see you guys later. See ya! Bye! <laughs>